So the peanut butter part's good. It really made me think of the, the fast break Reese's. But I guess that crisp part, it tastes like burnt popcorn to me. I probably wouldn't buy that part anyway because it's six points. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, you are learning about faith lifestyle planning and recipes. Okay, so I am going to get started. I am so excited about this. So a long time ago, um, Felicia had started talking about doing the Alani um, protein bars. And immediately I went to the website, which is always sold out. And um, I was like, man, I if you're anything like me, I am so picky about protein bars. I mean, so picky. Um, I am notorious for doing this to my husband. We would um, order like protein powder, like the big tubs from, um, I don't remember what that place was called, like bodybuilding.com maybe. Um, but anyways, I would get this huge tub of protein that would sound so good, you know, like Fruity Pebbles or something, and it would be disgusting. I would hate it. I hate everything about it. Couldn't even get the first sip down. So with that being said, it's hard for me to go to a website, say, okay, for 12 bars, you can get this for $29.99. I know it's on Amazon. Um, they have certain ones on Amazon and stuff. However, I went to the website hoping that I would be able to buy like maybe one or two of a bar. Um, and they didn't have that. And I was like, man, you know, like a lot of places will let you get like one of something so you can test it or sample it or whatever, or have a, a sample box. So, um, me and my husband had went to the mall. We were just walking around and I had passed GNC and I said, you know, I'm just going to go in and see if they have, um, see if they have it. And they did. And they had it where you can buy them individually. And I was so excited. So I bought all of them. I've got, um, five different, oh, excuse me, six different flavors. And I thought I would taste test them for you today, but there's also a plus. So um, one of the girls that I watch, um, a little less Ashley, she always talks about her go-to candies. And I have had a sweet tooth recently. And so I have been wanting some candy. Um, so this has been um, on the list. It's like the Smart Sweets. I opened them because my children wanted to taste them. Plus, I'm also glad I did open them off camera because I was struggling and it was super loud. But anyway, so I got all of the ones that they had at GNC. You could buy all of them individually. I was also happy that they were having a sale on both items, um, the, the Smart Sweets and the Alani. And I think they were like buy three, get one free or buy two, get one free on, on either one. I can't remember. It was back in the first week of January. Anyway, I bought six bars, four bags of um, Smart Sweets. I want to say for $26 for everything. So the price of what one box would have been, but I'm going to be able to taste everything. So I thought I would start off with the Alani bars. Um, I have my knife here because I'm going to eat it. Now, I have seen these on videos a ton, especially with Felicia, but I never paid attention to how many points these bars were. And I'm actually kind of shocked because I was expecting more, but this one right here is the confetti cake. And this one, I mean, this is a pretty good size bar. It says it's 170 calories, six grams of fat, 17 carbs, dietary fiber is five and protein is six. So I'm just gonna open this up a little bit and just um, cut off a little piece. And I'm just gonna taste it. So I'm just trying this much of it. This is the confetti cake. Mm. Mm, it's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, the chocolate on it tastes really um like fake sugary, but 
it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely not like those um nasty. It does have an aftertaste. I don't like that part. Um, that's where I get fall. Like, it's either the gritty or the fakeness or the aftertaste. So that was the confetti cake. Um, this one is the blueberry muffin. And I've heard this is good. This one's 170 calories, six grams of fat, 17 carbs, five dietary, dietary fibers, and 16 um, protein. Oh, this one's cute. This is the size of it. It's a uh, blue. Let's see. I'm just gonna put it all in this one. Okay, this one's a lot better. Mm, this tastes like um the Zone Bar Blueberry. That's good. I like that one. Mmm. Not no noticing the aftertaste on this one either, so that's good. This one's fruity cereal. This one looks like these. I don't really taste the fruity cereal. Okay, this one's peanut butter crisp. I think they all have about the same. This one's, oh, this is the only one that's six points, by the way. It's the peanut butter crisp. This one's 180 calories, seven fat, 15 carbs, 16 grams of protein, four fibers, and four sugars. I had, this one looks like this. Now, I know some people heat these up. Um, I never jumped on that bandwagon, even with the uh, built bars. Okay, this is good. So the peanut butter part's good. It really made me think of the the fast break Reese's. But I guess that crisp part, it tastes like burnt popcorn to me. I probably wouldn't buy that part anyway because it's six points. Um, okay, this one is confetti cake. It's five points. Um, 170 calories, six grams of fat, 17 carbs, five fibers, 16 protein. This one's all dark. Dark on chocolate. This one's good. Tastes like a, a chocolate cake. But now, I think this one is delicious favorite. It's five points. 170, six fat, 17 carbs, 16 protein, and five fibers. So this is the one I was actually excited to try. I didn't think they had it in the store that day, um, but they did. Looks like this. They only had like two in the box and it was in the wrong box. No, so, this is what it looks like inside. They all kind of look like this. This one's really good. Okay, so a very caramel taste. I like that. It is um, that one and the, um, what was it? Blueberry is my favorite. So that is, that is that. Um, I don't really have high expectations, like I said, when it comes to protein bars, so there's that. Okay, let's jump into this. This is the Smart Sweet Swedish Fish. I actually like Swedish Fish. 
These are good. Three grams of sugar. They're they're plant based. Um, this one's the sweet fish. It's three points. This would be a good alternative. This is um, I actually like this so far better than the bars, but you know you need a go to snack that you can have that you can keep in your purse or your your book bag or your backpack or whatever you carry stuff in and have for a quick snack, especially so it doesn't sabotage you. So this is mm -mm. that red one. Mm -mm. Uh-uh, I can't do that. That's gross. It tastes like cleaner. Ew. Mm. Y'all, that was a gross. Peach rings, I love these growing up. They're three points, but they taste like peach rings without all the sugar on top. These I'm not going to be a huge fan of, I can already tell, because is this what it said? Watermelon, watermelon, strawberry, and mango. They're, um, they're like Starburst, and I don't really like Starburst, but I'm not even trying another flavor, sorry. Okay. So. It's stuck to every tooth in my mouth. These would be the only ones I get. I don't know if there's more. This is what GNC had. These, I could do. These taste like chemicals. And I think I just tried the lime one, which tastes like cleaner. I don't even know what the first one was. Let me just try a blue raspberry because, oh, it was red. There isn't a blue raspberry, cool. So let's try an orange. It may not taste like orange, but. Not a fan. A lemon tastes like pine salt. Other than that, these would be my favorites. The aftertaste on them is not. Mm -mm, they're not good. And then on the Alani would be the blueberry and the munchies. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. Um, it also helps you out with, you know, maybe your taste test if you're hard to please on proteins and stuff. Um, but it's also a good alternative to some candies if you like those. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.